for those of you who are wondering why I'm making this video, watch until the end and then you will know why. become really lazy these days like I sleep a lot and I have no energy and motivation to do anything I just watch TV and I'm becoming a hermit I don't even feel like going out yesterday after a long time I went to a concert so I was driving along the road and I saw this poster on the side saying one of my favorite Swedish singers was performing in the village near me I was very surprised. It's a very small town and I call it a village because compared to London everything is a village. So um, it was like, ha, huh, how is it possible that there's a concert nearby? And uh, I bought a ticket, thought, okay, why not? Let's go check it out. And it was a very strange and uh, surreal experience because I go to concerts in London uh, and it's always packed and there's long queues and everything is a little old and dirty and smelly and sticky floors with beer and smell of alcohol and drunk people and that's the usual concert that I'm used to but here it was a completely different experience lovely clean new building very polite staff who were all retired I think they were doing it on a voluntary basis because they were all in their 70s I think and yeah everything was clean the bathrooms were clean um, there was no smell of alcohol actually I didn't see a bar there was a restaurant on one side maybe there was a bar but I didn't see one there were no drunk people there were lots of young people but behaving very nicely the crowd was also a very good mix of uh, people from all ages like people in their 70s and people in their teens it wasn't very packed which was surprising because he's in my opinion a very good singer and I assume quite famous in Sweden um, but then again when I went to the concert in Norway to see Scarlet Pleasure it was the same thing uh, the concert house or venue was half empty I guess I'm used to a very heavily populated country um, with 10 million people living in just one city so when there's a concert or something it's absolutely jam-packed here it was very nice the artist is very talented in his concert live performance it was you could tell that he could sing he could play the guitar he did an acoustic uh, version of one of his songs which was amazing so 
overall I had a very good time. The concert only lasted for an hour, which was again slightly different to what we're used to in the UK. They're longer. I think America and UK are very similar in the way we have concerts and things, but here it's a, a different culture. And at, the concert started at 7.30 and finished at 8.30, quarter to nine. And I was home by nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> very strange because <laughs> usually in London the concerts start at 10 30 and go on until late so yeah very different experience but very nice I'll insert some footage from the concert um, so you can see how it was what I experienced it's which is the nearest village to my house and I'm at the Vara concert hall it's a very nice venue very 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 clean so behind me you can see it Mama för alla nätterna som jag inte kom Pappa förlåt För alla lugnerna Och för alla tomma ord Jag har fallt tusen gånger Och vänt varenda bro Men allt är gärna kvar Hos mig 
Men jag tror att allt det bästa ligger framför oss Och det värsta redan är För länge, länge sedan Och jag vet att solen inte lyser på många år Och all vår tid har spunnit på Men allt jag ville säga var för långt Jag har alltid känt mig så utanför Att jag aldrig har passat in Och någon dag kommer jag att ångra mig Men allt kommer vara för sent Och jag har fallit tusen gånger om Och bränt varenda bro men allt är gärna i kvar hos mig Men jag tror att allt det bästa ligger framför oss Och det värsta redan hem För länge, länge sedan Och jag vet att solen inte lyser på många år Och all vår tid har spunnit på those of you who follow my channel know that I am really into music and I listen to music from all around the world from Turkey Bulgaria Romania to the whole of Scandinavia uh, French German Dutch you name it and I have it on my playlists Actually, you can find me on Apple Music as Ethan from London. You can see my profile and I share all my playlists. So I make a playlist for each month of every year. So I know what I was listening at any given point in future. I can go back and say, what was I listening to in December 2021, for example. Just one of those things to create my playlist. Anyway, so I follow so many artists and listen to their music, even if I don't understand the language, because music has its own international language. and if you enjoy melodies and harmonies and you can feel the essence of what the artist is conveying. So out of all the Scandinavian artists that I like and listen to, the reason I made this video about Lancelot is because despite his age and the era that he is living in, he's one of the calmest and the most serious artists I have come across of his age group. Many of the modern artists are sort of the same. They are all overly excited, overly happy, overly eager. Everything is just a lot of hoo-ha, a lot of fluff. They are doing all their marketing techniques and they don't come across as serious singers, even though some of them are extremely talented and they're very good, but the way they present themselves isn't the same. I don't know much of the history of uh, how this artist became popular or what's his past like, but what I can feel and sense from listening to his music, watching his videos and his songs is that he's had some trauma in his life perhaps, or he is an old soul trapped in a young person's body. Because the seriousness about him when he is singing and presenting is so intense it's something you used to see in artists from the 50s 60s 70s like Beatles and other serious artists when they were singing they were in it they were in the music they were in the song they were not doing it as a performance and you could see that and that's what I saw on the stage with this guy, that when he was singing, he was in his music. He wasn't doing it to please people. He was performing in front of an audience, but the audience wasn't the thing. Whereas most artists these days, when you go to their concerts, it's all about their focus on the audience. It's about how they engage with the audience. All of that 
it's less about the sincerity to the art. And I'm not saying that the others are bad or wrong. I'm just saying that this is what I really loved and appreciated about this artist and which is why I made this video because he stood out as a serious artist for me out of all the modern young talented people that I have come across and that's why I thought he deserved some recognition in some way from my tiny YouTube channel that has very few subscribers but hopefully people will watch this and maybe follow him and appreciate and enjoy the music that he creates and has to offer. So that's why I made this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.